Alright guys, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play for Speed Hopper Six here, and today we're taking the Austin Martin DBS out, the cop version. Pretty darn cool car, they have the DBS, I have the DBS while I anti recorded as well. So it's pre-recorded for you guys, so all I gotta do is upload it for you guys, narrate it, upload it, and then I'm done. So now, I have a one month break now guys, so I'm on break so I can do videos for you guys a lot more often. I'm gonna do try doing five episodes a day for you guys on this game. That was lucky right there. And a side note, something you guys don't know is I'm actually getting an Xbox 360 controller today, so I'm gonna make a video uh, showing you how I play games with an Xbox 360 controller for the first time ever. So all I gotta say is gaming's never gonna be the same. That was a totally bad idea what I did there. Basically, all I did from stat, uh, pushing them from behind is just make them dodge the roadblock, that's it. So, I did some really, really good maneuvers in this race. That got us helped down way, really, really low. So, actually, my dad ordered me the Xbox 360 controller yesterday, so... Now, and it's gonna come in today. It's actually being shipped by Newegg, so you're guaranteed to get the package uh, delivered the next day. So, yeah. And now we're taking the Nissan VTR Spec V cop car it looks pretty darn cool the lights are really cool the lights in the front grill the lights on the uh, from in the uh, near the exhaust look pretty cool I mean, just everything on this car just looks really darn cool even the paint job it's just a very unique car but not as unique as the Austin Martin 177 or the Porsche Carrera GT well then again the Austin Martin 177 has the same exact uh, sticker design as the GT3 cop car which looks kind of uh, doesn't look quite right but this is a more unique design in my opinion because this is the only car that has it in this game the only cop car that has it in this game pretty cool really really cool car I do like it so it's pretty fast too as you can see so yeah doing pretty darn good I did tap the wall a little on accident because I wasn't quite used to this car this car's got a weird really really weird handling physics to it. I mean sometimes it oversteers, sometimes it understeers. I mean it's kind of underpredictable in terms of turning radius. And I go to hood view here so that I don't accidentally hit run into any traffic cars. I mean just the details in this game in general are really cool. I think I'm running this game on medium graphics right now. Medium I think low or medium, I don't remember exactly when and I don't have high quality uh, high quality graphics settings on at all, I just have it set to medium. So it's the game runs pretty darn well, unlike Shift 2, which is on uh, two, two settings are on medium track and uh, cars, actually no, two settings are on high track and cars and everything else is set to low, and it just, it, Bandicam does not even want to record it at all, I mean, it's just ridiculous. So I tried doing it guys, I tried recording Shift 2 for you guys, uh, that's the only reason why I quit the series, because I couldn't really record it with Bandicam. I, could, I didn't really try to figure out, resolve the problem with uh, Bandicam not recording with recording Shift 2, that's the only thing. So that was a close call right there. This was just nuts, I mean just, how cl that dude was just really really close to hitting me from the side. And I got a near miss achievement as well, which is really nice. 200 near misses, that is really awesome. And in fact, I just recently got an achievement in cop mode for um, EMPs. I got 25 EMPs in this game. And in racer mode, I only got 5 perfect EMPs. I don't know why, to be honest. Maybe I'm really bad with the EMP and racer mode. I just don't know why. But in cop mode, you actually kind of do need to use the EMP. If the person's in front of you and you can't really catch up, you gotta use the EMP to slow him down a little bit. It'll disable his car a little bit and slow him down, so that's the benefit. So this car's got twin turbo V6 in it, I think it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure each Nis every single Nissan is twin turbo. And if you see the fact that it says classified top speed and acceleration, I actually learned this yesterday, get, uh, yesterday from High, Twins, High Train 12. Thanks for that, John, for t telling me that. Uh, e the reason why it might in TDU2 and in this game it has uh, doesn't tell you the acceleration and top speed. That's because every single GTR has its own uh, zero to sixty time, uh, zero to sixty acceleration and top speed. So since each one is hand built, 
Each one is slightly different, and that was totally awesome. I thought so. So here I crash into a traffic car just as I cross the finish line. Just as I crossed the finish line, guys, and it, took, it made me crash. But then I succeeded in the event. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye!